Hello again, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com and I got a little project to do on this gorgeous sunny day. I am going to replace the gearbox on my uh, fifth wheel landing jacks. I don't know if you've seen the video from uh, last year, but uh, I had a little uh, breakage on the, the gearbox. I had to do kind of a little MacGyver fix to, to keep it going, but this year I uh, got a new part so I'm going to swap out the gearbox. This is what she looks like. And you can see uh, these uh, two kind of uh, raised areas here. That's the one that snapped off on my uh, original gearbox. I ended up running a, a bolt through there and kind of doing a kind of a quick fix to it. So today I'm going to replace that. This new one I got is actually made of aluminum. It's not exactly the the one that Atwood uses. It's uh, from a different company, and uh, I think it'll be a little stronger. And it was actually about 20 bucks cheaper, and got this for around I think it was 48 dollars complete. So yeah, I'll show you where I'm going to change that. Go into the front compartment here, and yeah, there's the. The old gearbox there and what that does is it takes the motor when the motor turns for every three turns it reduces it to one turn on the landing gears so it looks like my first job is to uh, get this motor off so I'll do that first so that was super easy there's only a two long bolts holding it in up there and they sort of got flat heads. The hardest part is getting to the top back bolt. There's not a lot of space back there. So that's your motor. Pretty easy. It'd be pretty easy to change a motor too. Two bolts. Now next trick looks like is going to be taking off this rod that transfers the torque over to the other landing leg over there. And to me, it looks like we just have an Allen key in there, and then hopefully this will slide back. So it looks like that Allen key is a 3 16 so I'll pop that off next. Okay, there was a, a nut on the other side of that Allen bolt. So, got that out of the way, and now this should just pull back and drop. Oh yeah. Just let that hang like that. Now, and looks like we have a Phillips screw next. Okay. Okay, got that undone. And that just slides off. Lucky in videotaping this, I can remember the sequence. Now this whole box should just slide right off like that. That seems to be sticking on that. Okay. Something stuck. There's a little bit of a raised area there. I'm going to have to file that little burr off there first. Okay. There. Filed off the little bit of burr that was left. Let's see if she'll come off now. There we go. Yay. Okay this and have a look and see if it's going to match up with my other unit I just bought. So there's the old one and the new one and they are a little different physically but it looks like all the major components are lined up right. So you can see here's where uh, this plastic piece over here just sheared right off. It looked like this, looked a lot like this on this one. So uh, yeah this one's made of like an eight composite plastic. That one's aluminum. It's 
flip them around here. Okay. Yeah, they look pretty similar. Looks like the motor mounting holes are the same. So we'll give her a try. I know it's advertised as a 3 to 1 ratio gearbox and as a replacement online for the, the Atwood model. So uh, we'll give her a shot. Okay, I hit a snag in the big project here. Of course that uh, can happen when you're not using exactly the, the exact replacement parts. Problem turns out that uh, this crescent shaped hole here is, was slightly smaller than the original. So uh, I think I've solved it though. I took, a, took the units apart and basically you can see the, the gearing here and I uh, took the gear out of the one like that and shoved it into the other one and it uh, seems to work okay. It's pretty basic gearing so as long as uh, everything else fits it should uh, do the job. Uh, there's always something. So I thought I'd pop the top of that uh, leg and uh, give you a look what's inside there. You can see it's a set of bevel gears and then now looks like it turns a big worm gear. So uh, yeah, that's where you want to make sure you've got grease and oil down in there. I think I'll repack it with some grease before I put the motor back on. So there we go, all back in place. Took the opportunity to tidy up some of the wiring. And uh, yeah, looking good. Tracked. I don't hear any crunching or any bad sounds, so they're looking good. So yeah, I think I'll uh, hang on to the old one just in case. Keep it as a backup, my MacGyvered one. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy change. Not much to it really, a couple bolts here and there. Especially if you uh, order the, the exact, exact replacement part. I believe these are made by Atwood, it seemed to be seem to be, I can't find anywhere on, any markings on them anywhere, but looking online it seems to be an Atwood electric jack system. So these turn out to be the tools I needed for the job. This is a 3 16 Allen wrench. And I just needed a standard crescent wrench for the, the nut on the other side of that bolt. That took off the arm that goes across to the other leg and needed a Phillips screwdriver. For, there was one screw um, taking the gearbox off. And then for taking the motor off, it looks like, what do we got here? A 3 8 And with a little extension, it got up in behind there and made it easy to get that uh, buried bolt up in the back, top back of the motor out. So that's about it. Another job well done. Time to enjoy the, the beach and a cold one. Until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Happy trails.